Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. Okay, there is a requirement from a business that they want to push the customer master data to the vendor in a mass. So in SAP system, there are thousands of customers are available and they want to push those customers data to the vendor right so the vendor going to receive the xml file only that means we are going to push those customer data as an idoc only so we are going to push idocs for this customer then uh, that will uh, reach us to pi then that will go to vendor. Okay, it's about IDAC process only. It's all about triggering IDACs in a mass way. We all know that there is a standard tick code available that is BD12. Let me show you in the system. So BD12. So I am in the BD12 transaction code. So in this transaction code, for example, if I want to share, if I want to send the this customer data, then I need to specify the customer number here, then message type here. Okay, then I will execute. Okay, specify the customer number and message type, then execute. So if we execute, then we will see the message saying that one master IDOC set up for message type has been done and one communication IDOC generated for the message type. It is saying that one IDOC has been successfully triggered for this customer what we have pushed. Right, so the transaction code is BD12 and the program or the report for this uh, T code is this is the T code, this is the report. This T code assigned to this report only. Okay, so in this um, BD tool transaction code, we can push the data, right? So we can give n number of customers here. I can give uh, several customers here. Right, we can select several customers here. Okay. And I can push the data. For example, I don't know the customer number here. I know only the account group. Or I know only sales area. Then how can I push the data here? Not possible at all, right? Because business in real time scenario, in projects and all, in production system, business user doesn't have to access the transaction code SE16N. Business doesn't have access to SE16N. Okay, business users in production, in production doesn't have access to SE16N transaction code. Okay, limitation in uh, BD tool is that if we know the customer, then we can push it. or else we can't right this is the this is the limitation would we have in bd 12 let me note it down right 
suppose i don't know this right so i want to push sales area wise so whatever the how many customers are available in sales area level then i want to push those customers data or else i want to push the data customer group account group wise customer account group wise i know account group only then also is possible how can this possible it is possible by developing the okay by developing custom report it's very much possible okay if you see here if you see this um, screen so we have developed one custom report right the customer report have the this initial screen of that report okay so we can give the customer number here and sales area we can give here and account group if you closely observe here sales area field are mandatory here you see the one check tick mark is there in the in this input field right for sales org distribution and division tick mark is there means it's a mandatory field so we should must include this we should specify the sales area data here okay then i can go with account group right if i don't know the customer no problem simply by specifying the sales area and account group wise i can push the data one more thing you you are you understood that you know that that customer available in uh, several sales area that means that customer extended to several sales area in the system so i want to specifically execute the data for specific sales area of that customer then in that case what we can do we can input customer number here then specific required sales area here okay so this is the initial screen will look like after that so we are calling this standard program so what we are doing we are by by with help of this initial with help of this uh, input screen data we are retrieving the data from the database table kn a1 or knvb right after retrieving the data from this kn a1 knvb database table then we are pushing those customers information to the standard report then we should call this report let's call the report yeah so by calling this report we can do our activity so in other words we can say that this custom report is extension of this standard report so we have some limitation that uh, standard report so we are overcoming with adding some logic in the custom report then finally again we are calling this report only okay so this is one of the way of triggering in idoc remember it's an idoc trigger bd tool is used to send the customer data via idoc only okay and uh, earlier i discussed about idoc that time i mentioned that an idoc can be triggered in several ways like uh, through output type through a report okay function module and change pointer technique and the change pointer technique i have discussed already output type also i have discussed already and report so this is how this report will help us to trigger the data idoc data basically so through report also we can generate the idocs remember that in the background we should do relevant configuration in w20 partner profile setup right port setup rfc everything should be active in the background if everything is active the setup is done completely then we can easily push the data through this bd tool so if you still have any concerns or queries means please do let me know we can discuss further bye for now thanks everyone